Hey folks, welcome back. I'd like to give you a quick overview of adding and removing links from your nav bar. So let's just jump into our editor. And I want to preview a page here first so we can talk about what we're going to do. So let's get the index page open. And there it is. We're going to update the nav bar up top. Now something you should know about the nav bar. If there is a submenu that opens up below it, the button will only act as a title button. It will not actually link to a web page. You may try to link it to a web page, but it won't actually link to a web page. The reason is for mobile users. Mobile users only have one action that is touching something because there is no hover detect on a mobile device like there is on a desktop. Okay, so for example, pages, that's a title button with all the submenu below it. So you will not be able to have the actual pages button here link to a page in your site. If you wanted it to do that, you'd have to put a link in here somewhere, maybe change the name up a little bit. But uh, just a bit of a, a word of warning, if you want the button to link to an actual page, make sure you do not include a submenu with it. Okay? Now let's just jump right into our editor and talk about adding and removing buttons. Let's go to our library, let's go to our shared, and open up the menu top page. The list you see here is a simple bullet list. The text in the list has been hyperlinked to a page in your site, and that's how the menu is created. We use JavaScript and CSS to take this information and transform it into the nav bar that you see in your web page. Now adding, adding a button, let's talk about that. Adding a button, if we wanted to put a button between the home and the pages button, let's just refer back to our example. If we want to put something between these two here, we'd put the cursor at the end of the word home, hit enter on the keyboard, type in Collins button, just like so. Then I'd select the text, I'd right click, hyperlink, find the page that I want to link to, click OK, and save. If I go back to our example and refresh, there's Collins button right there. Now you'll notice that I don't have a little icon beside Collins button. That's because that's a font awesome icon that will need to be added via the code view and we have a separate tutorial that talks about that. So for now we'll just deal with the actual adding and removing of buttons in this video. Okay, jumping back, if I want to remove a button, now I know you're thinking, well you can just grab it, hit the keyboard, the backspace, the delete key, that sort of thing. I'm not going to recommend you do that. What I'm going to recommend is you actually use the quick tag selector. You take the entire link tag and remove it from the page. The reason being is if you try to delete a button by swiping over it with your mouse and hitting the backspace key, you notice that I sort of had to chase it around there for a little bit. I had to backspace a few times in order to get rid of it. Eventually your web editor is going to leave some little piece of code behind in the page if you do that. The best way to remove a button is select or click it with your mouse, go to the quick tag selector, you'll see the A and then the LI tag click the LI tag, press delete on your keyboard. That is the cleanest way to remove code. You can remove entire buttons and all the submenu below it simply by the same process. Click on the word or double click the word pages, find the A tag, click on the LI tag beside it. It selects not only the parent level button, but everything down below. Okay, let's say we want to add a parent level button and have submenus below it. Let me show you how to do that. I'm going to put my cursor there right after the word home, hit enter. We're going to go top level. I know very descriptive, right? Hit the enter key again, sub one, sub two, sub three. I'm just going to link all these to start with. But the top level, I'm going to use a little bit of a different linking strategy. I'm going to right click, hyperlink, and just enter the pound sign, just like so. Because like I said before, it's not going to link to a web page, but we need to treat it like a hyperlink in order to make it function correctly. So instead of linking it to a page, we're going to use the good old fashioned developers pound sign link. All right, then we're going to select sub, hyperlink, find a page, same with the rest of them. I'm just going to blast through this because we're going to use, an, we're just doing an example here. There we go. So I've got my new top level button. I want these three sub level buttons to show up underneath the top level. How do I do that? Well, I select it or I put my cursor on it and then I use the indent increase position like so. Next and next. 
I'm just going to save the page. We're going to go back to our browser, refresh button. Oh, wait a minute, refresh, there it is. And top level, and see how's the arrow? I click it, now we have the three different sub-levels. Perfect. Okay, so that's adding a top level to sub-levels. And of course, if you want to have a sub-level off a sub-level, you would once again use your, let's move this number two here. We're going to indent that one more time. Save the page and refresh. Now we have sub one and then sub two over here. Okay, so we can have a whole list of submenus off of any of the existing submenus. Kind of cool. Yeah, typically when I go to set up a new site, I'll just grab whatever menus we have in here, hit the ally tag, and just get rid of big blocks of, you know, all the default stuff because I know I'm not going to use it. There we go. And then I just start building a menu from scratch. As a matter of fact, I I get my list right down to the home button. I leave the home button in there because it's a good placeholder, right? It is very important because, let me show you in code view if it really matters, it's a UL tag that has a class or an ID of menu, and that's very important. It won't function without this ID. So if I yank the whole thing off the page, as you can see in the code window, we've got a whole bunch of stuff going on in the background here, right? But in the design view, we just have the home button here, right? So I leave the home button because pretty much not a good idea to get rid of the home button because when somebody else is somewhere else in your site, typically most people want to get back to the home page and check to start their search over again from there. So leave the home button and then start building your menu just by hitting the enter key, new button, new button. Just like I showed you, type out all your links, hyperlink them, then indent them.